Hello and welcome to this review for the new LEGO City set. Uh, this is number 60425, the Jungle Explorer Waterplane. This is part of the June releases of um, uh, explorers and videographers uh, touring across Asia and seeing different animals. This is the, alli the not alligator, it's all in Asia, so it's the crocodile set. And yeah, it's, it's special for having uh, the three crocodile animals. And yes, there's also a little frog, so if you want to count that, I don't. So we'll, um, yeah. So even though it's 177 pieces and it cost me $25 Canadian, it's around $20 USD, I still find this as being pretty fine value. Uh, and I'll show you why. So we'll start with the, here, the, um, the main attraction, which are the uh, two identical crocodiles. I mean, I do miss my old crocodile mold, right? From that I grew up with that had the same head as the dragon, but these are very nice. So we'll see it focus. There you go. So you have very nice printing for the eyes. Yeah, it's just one print thing, but I just, I mean, they had one job and they did it fine. So I'm glad about that. All right, so there it is. That's how it looks like this angle. And it does have its mouth go up to here. Right. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and the tail does wag side, side to side. There you go. That's how it looks like under. So there's that extra like pin here. But yeah, they're two identical molds, but they look great. And this is the baby, who also has some printing on the eyes. There you go, very tiny, but still there, and crisp. Nothing to complain about. Now, there is a little terrain for them, sorry about that. Uh, it is built separately from the rest. There's two different instructions sets, and they each have come with their res respective baggie. So that's good, it means that two kids can build it at once. And this is like six plus, so I mean, this part's even like easier, so you have like a a younger sibling while the uh, older sibling does the plane. That's right here. Okay, so this is the little uh, side build. You can have a crocodile go in there, right? Either like this where it's hidden, or you can have it more up, right? That's nice. And you'll see that this does connect to other sets. So for example, here is the, I didn't review it yet, I'll review it tomorrow. This is the set for uh, the little uh, red panda. See, it does connect here. That was just a compass piece that <laughs> I had stuck to my hand. It, it, it attaches like this. All right. So, so that's the side part with the animals, the part that you know we all love, we all want. This is the plane. The plane, I actually, I adore. It's, uh, it's not very detailed at all. But it's just such an efficient, no frills type of thing. Like everything is there. It's all, how can I say this? It's the simplest possible solution to like a, the, what you'd want out of a plane, but it's also perfect in its simplicity. So for example, uh, if you're a kid, you would want the propeller to go freely. And yeah, it does. I mean, you expect it to, but it, there it is. Um, you've got the, I mean, it's a simple shape, but still you have the nice design going from the uh, white, navy blue to orange, and it does give you uh, a design to use with tiles. So it's like a nice uh, early way of seeing how you can have tiles used for the design of Legos for kids. Um, and while looking at it this way, you'll see there's actually very little uh, exposed studs. There is on the top, of course, but on the side there's not. So it's like a really nice, clean build that's also easy. So here it is. And like everything is solid. It's just it's it's just maximized efficiency. I really love it. It's really, really well done. And nice solid for a nice uh toy. Now, uh to open up inside, you take this out. Oh yeah, one thing my, my son likes. So my son who's six did build it. It's six it's six plus. He had uh, no issue with it. So you would, none of your kids would have issues with it either. Um he did like this aspect too. So it's pretty easy how you build it, and, and it gives you a really great effect here. So you take out you remove the top and you have access to the cockpit. My one issue is that, so it comes with, a, these are videographers. It comes with a camera, right? And if anybody was wondering why it's slanted at an angle, it's because when you hold it up, it's able to uh, see the hand is at an angle. So it, the angle on the camera compensates for it. So you're able to actually have it like flush with the head. In any case, this, there's no compartment for the camera, which is just too bad. Like there's compartment for the map, but not for the camera. Speaking of the map, uh, it is a printed piece. Uh, there's no, there's no stickers here, so that's not a good thing. Even though, like I said, the, the 
price to parts ratio is not great. You do have the three animals and you have no stickers. So all prints, that's a print here. And this map is also print. And it's a unique print to this uh, set. Of course, I find it cute. It looks like, like a treasure map, but all it is is telling you the location of, of the alligators for you to do your little documentary. Okay, so this is the inside of it, and it fits two people extremely comfortably. But, can't fit the camera. You're able to put it, there is a bit more space here for the pilot, so you can put it there to close it up. But that is, you know, cumbersome, with, and it doesn't really work with whatever play, uh, you know, the, the role playing that your child is doing with this. It would be more for the lady, right? There's no compartment for it. I thought maybe there would be something under here when, when I was looking at the pictures, but no, there, this is just all solid. Okay, so uh, I'm going to show you the minifigures. Right, so she has an alternate face. One second, I want to, be, uh, to focus up. So this is her, and her alternate face looks like this. Right, which makes sense because she's trying to like see better with, uh, you know, get the right. Yeah, we'll, we'll do it here. You'll see what the idea is that yeah, she's able to better see, better focus. All right, look at the crocodiles. Not be too close, unlike, you know, my thumbnail uh, to the video. And you have the pilot who, the, the faces, that's the one thing I'm not too fond of. It's just like the same face that I use for like my knights and Vikings and stuff. It's not, it's not something new. At least it doesn't look like something. It looks like something we've seen a bunch of times. Not sure if it's the, if the exact expression was used before. I think it was, because like I said, it looks really familiar. And yeah, no alternate face. I do like the uh, the look. What's fun for me is that it kind of combines uh, the the two, uh, like Chip and Dale, the Rescue Rangers, because you got one that looked like, you know, Tom Selleck and Magnum P.I. and the other one looked like Indiana Jones. This is like both put together. In any case, neither here nor there. So those are the main figures. I do like that the pockets are cute. I find the pockets really, really cute. But yeah, there's not that much. It's like I said, no frills. Uh, you, but but then again, I don't expect more. And I'm getting everything that I need from a set for twenty five bucks. I've like twenty five bucks Canadian, so twenty USD. I feel you've got everything you need to have a, a really fun little adventure here. Good. I'll get back to you guys uh, tomorrow with a set for the. Um, I do have the smaller set that has, like you saw, the red panda. So I'll cover a view of that tomorrow. If ever you have questions on the set, uh, you can always uh, write in the comments. I wish you all an excellent day. Bye.